Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market uh, view. US markets were marginally up and they managed to close the record highs and uh, European markets were mixed. Uh, CAC was down about 0.4%. The rest of the markets were up anywhere from 0.2 to almost about 1.4%. And when we look at the Asian markets today morning, Nikkei is marginally up about 0.33%. Hang Seng is up almost about 2%. And uh, SDX Nifty is suggesting that we are going to open up about 25-27 uh, points higher. After a long time in, in terms of flows, FIs were net bias though of a smaller amount of about 39 crore on uh, Friday and the domestic institutions were biased to the tune of about 417 crore. Overall, uh, we continue to see lackluster movement for our markets uh, and the volumes are also on a lower side because many participants are uh, not uh, active in the market uh, but overall trend for the market uh, looks to be quite positive to take us through important FNO clues and ideas that we can have from the FNO desk. Friends, uh, let me take you to Shekhan pre-market uh, action report starting with trading ideas. First of all, a long call at Landmark as a company uh, is about to out-license its molecule for pain management uh, and this can have a potential of almost about $1 billion. And uh, one can go long on Glenmark with a stop loss of 768 and a target of about uh, 795 to about 810. Lupin again some positive uh, development as the company has received the US health regulatory approval for uh, HIV infection drugs. So one can go long on Lupin with a stop loss of 1384 and a target of about 1440 to about 1460. And in other news and updates, Power Grid Corporation. Board has approved the investment of about 6,575 crore and the Indian Oil Corporation is uh, likely to back about 2,800 crore in order to decode an LNG pipeline and uh, it is also likely to start land acquisition for its expansion plans in Gujarat. Coal mine auction process uh, gets underway so watch out for some action in the coal block related stocks like Sharda Energy and general steel and power and so on and so forth and MSCI deletes GSFC from the global small cap index. And uh, employees of ING, uh, Baisha Bank have demanded safeguarding of their interest post merger with Kotak Bank and they have threatened to go on strike on January 7. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Finance Minister Arun Jaitley would be having discussions with the chiefs of the public sector banks on January 2nd and 3rd to work out an action plan for major reforms in the banking sector and Assam company has informed uh, the BSE that it has entered into an agreement uh, with uh, ONGC for their investment in the Ampuri film for and on behalf of the government of India and lenders led by State Bank of India have ex are expected to take a significant hit of almost about 10,000 crore on their investment in the Ratnagiri gas power which was known as the whole power project and the shareholders have approved the sales promotion services agreement with Diageo. General Stainless uh, board meeting is held on December 29 to consider an approval scheme of uh, AMP which is asset monetization and business uh, reorganization of the company and BSC dealers and tractors have said that uh, they would be restricting their production to four days a week, uh, both at Bangalore and Hoser plant, due to unfavorable demand scenario. And Mahindra CI also is likely to observe no production days at some of its facilities up to seven days in January uh, to align the production with the demand. In other news and developments, uh, finance ministry sources have indicated that the concessional excise duty uh, for the auto sector, that time limit is likely to get extended which is going to be positive for companies like Maruti and Mahindra Mahindra and even some of the two-wheeler companies and uh, continuing its efforts to strengthen the overseas footprint Bharat Heavy Electricals is looking for business opportunities in Mozambique and uh, in a bit to focus purely on the FMCG business uh, Elder Healthcare which is a part of the Elder Group has uh, said that it is in talks with the Japanese MNC to introduce products in the skin scale segment uh, into the country and Reliance Industries which shut down its Nagotanet plant purely for routine maintenance and Defence Minister is likely to meet uh, with his secretary with some of the top companies in the defence area like Bharat Forge, Larson and Chobro and Ashok Lelenga. This could be 
positive for some of the companies given the fact that there is a thrust on the Make in India uh, plan uh, by the Prime Minister. So watch out for some action in these stocks. Here is a list of stocks with positive and negative bias. Stocks with positive bias are uh, PFC, SBI and Indraprasth the Gas. Stocks with negative bias are HPCL and Reliance Infra. That's it from all of us friends. Uh, see you tomorrow at the same time.